Governor Robert Bentley has issued a burn ban for 46 counties, including Talladega. It comes before a big race at the Talladega Super Speedway. Officials there say no fires are going to be allowed leading up to the Alabama 500, not this weekend, but next weekend. As CBS 42 News reporter Matt Fernandez reports for us tonight, it could have a big impact on some vendors. During race week, usually along the road outside the racetrack, there are dozens of vendors set up selling firewood. This year, with no fire allowed, it could have a big impact on their sales. Thousands of race fans in October flocked to the racetrack for the Alabama 500. They also like to relax outside the track, enjoying campfires. Firewood vendors can make some big bucks selling that firewood. We'll sell anywhere from three to six thousand dollars worth of wood. Randy Holder has been selling wood at Talladega for three years. This year, he says, with no fires allowed, it's going to hurt all the vendors. If it's strictly enforced, uh, it'll be a lot of people that's used to making their money, you know, and a good bit of their money at the track. That's not going to be. Some race fans are also frustrated. Kaylin Tony likes to sit out by the campfire and won't be able to do that this year. It kind of sucks because it gets cold at night. So. Yeah. Fans will be allowed to grill, but the grills must be three feet off the ground. Grant Lynch, chairman of Talladega Super Speedway, says it's all about safety with no fires allowed. Law enforcement will be on the grounds. Fire and safety crews that are here as well. We have campground monitors that are here, and we'll all be just looking for people that don't understand exactly what the rules and regulations are. We're going to try to make it as clear to them as possible. No fires are allowed on Talladega Super Speedway at all race week and in the week coming up to race week. And the Alabama 500 is on October 23rd. Matt Fernandez, CBS 42 News.